Hi, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're gonna have a little play around with some photography. We're gonna be doing flat lays. If you don't know what a flat lay is, it's basically when you take a photo up above and you've got everything laid out on the ground. So whether it's tools, whether it's candles in my case, or it could be all sorts, books or whatever. So we're gonna have a little play around with that today and I'll walk you through what I do to take my flat lays. But before we get into that, I'd really appreciate it if you could give the video a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to the channel. My goal is to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of April. So let's do it together. So what we're gonna do today is take a few different flat lays. I've got a few different book themed candles that I'm gonna play around with. I've got a Sherlock Holmes one, I've got a Harry Potter one, and I've got like a Pride and Prejudice one. So we're gonna have a little look at all the bits I've got. Basically for flat lays, you just need a lot of junk, a lot of crap around. So I'll guide you through what I've got and we'll sort of work through doing a few different flat lays. It's a bit of trial and error, sort of moving things around and seeing what works, so it just takes a bit of time. It's something a bit new to me. It's something I wanted to do to make my candle Instagram page stand out. I saw a few people doing similar things with books, so I thought it would work quite well for candles. So I'm not an expert at this yet, but Follow me and we'll give it a little go. So like I said previously, you need a lot of junk. So let's have a look at some of the junk. <laughs> well, I say junk. Some of the lovely things I've collected um, for props. So let's have a look at that. So here's an example of some of the things I've been collecting. I've got a bit of potpourri because it's got nice different textures. Um, pine cone. Keys. Keys are quite cool. They'll go well for the Sherlock Holmes inspired candle. Um, compass. Middle Earth map. My precious um, chest scarf, um, sort of a flat layer backdrop there. Shells, a quill, candle holders. So what you want to do is just collect lots of things. Things are useful. You're going to want to find somewhere with lots of lights. So I've got this big window, and I'm basically just going to set up on the floor down here. try and get Sherlock Holmes themed flat lay for this. So I think that's all the stuff I want to use so I'm just going to try and piece it all together so bear with me we're gonna have a bit of a rearrange what I like to do is try and get everything that I think I want to use and then work it out later so we'll have a little bit of a time lapse or something like that whilst I rearrange my junk hmm that doesn't sound good So we're going to try and take a couple of photos like this and then we'll flip through the screen and I'll show you what they look like. So for the Harry Potter Herbology related one we're going to add a few more plants and try and make it look a bit like a sort of mad lab with plants and stuff so let's have a little play around with that. Yeah, so I've got a few good shots of that, so I'm pretty happy with that. We'll move on to the next one. Next up, we've got the Pride and Prejudice candle. So we're going to try and take a few photos of that. Um, so I've got Pride and Prejudice, the book, open. So we're going to try and go for maybe a bit more of a different theme. I can find a few like roses or flowers or something. That's what we'll do. So we'll just play around with this until it makes a bit of sense and then we'll snap a few snaps and have a look through them later. Okay, we'll call it a day on the candle flat lays and then we'll edit a few of them on the computer and then I'll show you what we made at the end. Overall, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, it just requires having lots of bits around that you can play around with. So yeah, invest in some junk. Go to charity shops, buy some bits and bobs, order some bits on eBay's. You just need um, costume props and stuff like that, so yeah. Right guys, we're just going to do a little bit of editing on Photoshop. Nothing too extravagant, we're just going to crop it, get rid of some of the fluff. We want to make the focal point of the candle itself. So that's what we're going to do. Quick little crop. But I'm finding these flat layer photos quite fun to make. It's quite cool having all the little bits around, um, especially if you're a bit of a fantasy nerd. Then we're going to 
just going to adjust some of the brightness and the contrast, play around with levels, things like that. Just adjust it a little bit, try and make everything pop out. But yeah, I'm really not doing anything too fancy here. Literally adjusting a few of the basic things just to make everything stand out a bit more. But what I'll do at the end is I'll show you three photos, one of each candle, which I think are my favourite ones and the ones I've edited, so you can see them next to each other as a final process. Hopefully you found this video useful and you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much, I'll see you in the next one.